Back. No. Okay. Back. Already back. No, 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 no. Okay, hello. I'm now in Prague, Czech Republic, on a, uh, on a nice winter day, around zero degrees, maybe minus, minus one, minus two, minus three degrees. It's quite cold, as you might be able to see from our breath. <laughs> yeah, we're standing here on the, on the top floor of a kind of a rooftop terrace, and I'll show you the rooftop. Come up here, we can see something of Prague, so let's go. So the flat had actually the top floor and then I built a ladder here to go on the actual roof. So oof, it's really cold, I don't really wear clothes outside, but uh, let's quickly go up here. Ah, this is now the rooftop. See, they built a nice like table and uh, benches, so if it's a nice uh, a nice summer day, you can actually sit here and have some nice drinks in the sun. So very nice, you know. And then you can also enjoy the view here. I'm over Prague. So yeah, just imagine it's a nice summer day. Even better if you come here on this beautiful roof, they actually have this is a bathtub. You can actually see here. This is for people to take a bath. Imagine taking a bath on a rooftop in Prague, but this looks like it hasn't been used for a while. We also have a shower. You take a shower after the bath. And, best of all, a sauna. This is a sauna. You can actually go in there and get really hot, you know, like 100 degrees or something. And when you're finished, you can take a shower or go into the bathtub, well, if it wasn't nailed shut, or just hang out here. You can probably even be naked and no one will see you here on the rooftop. So yeah, it's really cold here. One thing I want to say about the experience in Prague is that time of the year matters and weather matters. It's a beautiful city. We did a, really <laughs> a lot of cool stuff in the city. We went around, uh, went to some kind of a church and the castles like where the big you know um, kings and emperors were seated and funny thing they're quit pretty obsessed with money everything's about money you know for an ex-communist country very interesting you'll go in there into the church you can kind of go into the main church but if you then want to go in it costs money or if you want to light a candle it costs money everything money Hello, now we're in the main church of the Prague Castle. Um, where we're standing here right now is still free. But um, look at there, you have to pay to get into like, the inner part of the church, which is pretty weird, but not surprising to me. <laughs> so usually when you go into a church, you can pay money and then to light a candle. But here it's really commercialized. Look. For 10 check money, you can have one candle lit for 15 minutes. And then for more money you pay, the more candles you light. <laughs> it's unbelievably commercialized. I found it really interesting. <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, we had lots of mulled wine, Glühwein, so this kind of hot red wine, which costs different amounts here. And um, we even saw little children performing at the main square, um, in a nice Christmas market in the center of the city. But the performance was pretty terrible. Then, uh, but again, weather matters, time of the years matters. Prague is beautiful, but please, if you decide to visit Prague, come in summer or in autumn or in springtime. Don't come in winter when everything is gray and dark, like at 4 p.m. the sun goes down and it's just like, it's beautiful, but it's so gray and it's so cold and there's not even snow. So please don't come in winter. <laughs> Enjoy this beautiful city in summer. And then I'll say bye-bye and I hope Hong Kong is warmer than this. Bye. <laughs> Rita, snídeš ten odpluh, sklízí, cestu pro fat pro vodský.